What is up my bodyweight warriors and welcome back to another video. Today I want to show you a quick, simple, five minute morning mobilizing routine that you can incorporate into your life so you get a little bit of that daily practice every single day to work towards your goals. If you've been around the channel before, you probably know that I like to incorporate a daily practice, something that I do every single day that is me working towards goals that I may have. In terms of mobility, I personally usually do something similar to my full body mobility routine or my full body stretching routine, both of which I'll put in the description down below. These routines only take about 20 to 30 minutes, but I do understand that maybe mobility isn't your priority and you're more strapped for time. So this five minute mobility routine may be perfect for you. The routine focuses a lot on the spine. We're looking to loosen up tonic tight muscles and activate some of those phasic muscles that can become loose and weak with long periods of sitting or standing. So that would be something like the glutes and the postural muscles on your back. This routine is pretty general. It's gonna hit generally the main areas that you see a lot of restrictions in the general population. But as always, it's very important that you take this routine and apply it to yourself. We're all different, we all have different restrictions. And although this routine will be a really good starting point for a lot of people, I think it's important that you then maybe substitute and add in exercises that you feel that you need for your personal ability and situation. That being said, I'm gonna go through the routine now. I will put in regressed exercises where needed for those with a little bit worse mobility, but hopefully the routine is relatively accessible for most people. One thing to mention before we do jump into the routine is breathing is very important, both energetically and for mobility. When we're doing this morning routine, we want to be focusing on having some deep diaphragmatic breaths and really relaxing. But that kind of covers all bases. Everything is in the description down below, including the Bodyweight Warrior t-shirts if you want to snag yourself one and support the channel. But that is enough rambling for the moment. Let's jump into the routine. a glimpse into the routine but here is a commentary just to give you a little bit more context into why we're doing these exercises something that i didn't include is the spinal articulation just think of it as kind of rotations of the spine getting some movement brushing off the rust this isn't essential but i think it's a nice way to start the day and kind of assess where your body's at the first exercise we're going to be doing in this routine is a pike fold or forward fold into a squat position. With this, you wanna go as deep as your mobility will allow. If you can't touch the ground, that's fine. If you can't sit in a full squat, that's fine. Just go within your ranges of motion. We're gonna transition between the pike fold and the squat for a total of five repetitions with a brief pause in the pike at the top and the squat at the bottom. The next exercise after this is a pike rotation. We're gonna be in that standard pike position after the squats and you're simply gonna rotate from side to side, facing 90 degrees away from the center. This is gonna provide a nice stretch into your lower back along that side flexion and really open up that lower back, which is something that commonly gets tight. We're gonna go backwards and forwards for a total of 10 repetitions. So that's gonna be five reps per side. After this is done, you're gonna transition back into the squat and then go down into a 90-90 or figure of four position and we're gonna perform a neck stretch. Here we're gonna use the arm of the side that is being stretched, and we're gonna be pushing into the ground, actively depressing the shoulder to make the stretch on the neck more intense. You can perform this stretch in three different positions. The first being just a standard lateral stretch on the neck. The second is gonna be tucking the chin, putting more emphasis on the upper trapezius. And then the final one is using the hand to push the neck to look away from the side which you're stretching. All of this is gonna focus on stretching different musculature in the neck. And then all you're gonna do is go back into a squat and then sit down again, do the same position and repeat on the other side. This angle should give you a little bit more context into how you're sat. You can see your legs kind of make a figure of four position. You're gonna hold this on each side for a total of 30 to 40 seconds. So that would be between 10 and 15 seconds per position. Again, focus on what is tight for you. Then we move back into the squat and we put those knees forward and go into a kneeling back bend. The easiest variation would be using your hands on your glutes to support you. 
And from here, you're trying to push your hips further forward, open up those abdominals, open up those hips and stretch the quads and the hip flexors. Again, remember to keep that deep diaphragmatic breathing. A more challenging variation would be putting the arms back onto the legs behind you and then using your upper body to push your chest deeper into the stretch. Again, we're gonna be getting a nice global anterior stretch on this one. And you'll hold this for a total of 30 seconds. We're now gonna transition from that back bend position into a squat again. And then from here, we're gonna perform some Edo Portal inspired squat thoracic rotations. You're gonna sit in a squat, grab your opposite ankle with one arm, then you're gonna rotate the other arm up and then reach as high as you can to the sky. Don't worry if you can't fully extend the arm or fully get round, rotate as far as your mobility will allow you. And if you can't sit in a squat comfortably, you can use a surface to support your hips and then simply repeat the same position. And then we're gonna repeat this for five repetitions per side. From here, we're gonna shoot the legs forward and then put our legs into a tailor or butterfly pose. From here, we're gonna elevate our hips off the ground using our arms to support us. So we're gonna depress our shoulders, activate those postural muscles, and then you're gonna rock backwards and forwards in that butterfly position for five reps. And then once those five reps are done, you're gonna pause and use your glutes to try and pull your knees closer to the ground. You're then gonna hold that position for 10 seconds. Then we move on to a table pose. This is gonna really open up the shoulders, stretch that pec minor, stretch the bicep brachii, and then also we're gonna to try to engage those glutes and those hamstrings. When you're in this position, you'll be pushing your chest as tall as you can and trying to keep your legs and hips in a posterior pelvic tilt. We're then gonna sink backwards into a squat again and then move into a child pose or a cat stretch. This is gonna be focused on the lats and opening up those shoulders in that overhead position. You can move from side to side, you can move up and down, wherever you feel you have restrictions, Try to focus on that. And we're gonna hold this position for 30 seconds. From here, we're gonna go up and then go into upward dog. And then we're gonna perform some McKenzie push-ups, which is a pull check inner size inspired exercise. This basically focuses on moving from a prone position, pressing up, activating those postural muscles again, opening up the anterior of our body, stretching out those abdominals, those hip flexors, and activating those glutes to go into that upward dog position. And we're gonna perform this for five reps. Again, keeping that deep breathing throughout. And that is the routine done. Should only take between five and then maybe six minutes if you spend a little bit longer. And that is basically it. That is the routine, nice and simple. I think it takes about four and a half to five minutes, depending on how long you want to spend in each position. And it covers pretty much all the basis. It's a very quick full body mobilizer. Of course, there are exercises and aspects that I could have included or, or something I left out, but I tried to create something that was pretty holistic and kind of covered most bases to a good extent. That being said, if you do have any questions, why not leave a comment down below? I'm always down there to answer your questions. And I'd love to hear how you find this routine and whether you're applying it. If you want to also join the Bodyweight Warrior group on Facebook with over 2000 other members, and you can share your experience on there and ask questions to a wider group of people and join in on the weekly challenges that we're now holding. If you just, in, if you just enjoyed this video, then hit that thumbs up button, helps to support the channel. If you have a friend who wants to increase their mobility then why not share this routine with them but that is it for this week guys have a strong and mobile week peace